Well, my day's not ending or going as planned. Just got a phone call for a 911. Uh, I had to run all the way across town. I was downtown. Now I'm back over here on Stock Island. The guy called in a panic. He was uh, getting on a plane to Hawaii and he said that his zincs on the boat, which zincs are a sacrificial anode that we put on trim tabs and running gear and things like that so that it eats on the zinc instead of eating on the actual parts of the boat. His are actually boiling. So that means that there's some major electrolysis and it's actually pretty dangerous. Uh, it could be the boat could start on fire inside somewhere. Uh, if somebody got in the water and it's bad enough, they could be electrocuted. That warrants uh, 911 status. So headed down to uh, go take a look at that right now. Today's weather is 80 degrees. It feels amazing for December. No chance of rain. When we woke up this morning, it was about 69. All right, here we are. Let's take a look and see what we got going on. Let me see how I can see down there. Just turned off the shore power. Just gonna check all these plugs. Smart plugs, which these are pretty good plugs, so I'm just gonna check them all. Those are both good. Let's go back here and check all these at the pedestal. Well, I didn't find any smoking guns on the shore power cord. I guess I'll uh, hop down in the hatches and see what I can find down in the engine room, see if there's a gal galvanic isolator or something like that. And the boat that I'm going to is right over there. Let's go see what we can figure out. Always hate getting those 911 calls because people are in a panic not really knowing, especially since he was getting on a flight. He had 10 minutes to talk to me and tell me what was happening before he was boarding. So I'm here to meet the mechanic. There he is. gonna hook my meter up to the bonding system see if there's a reason why the zincs are frothing yeah the trim tabs how are they getting found this little guy little damsel fly I think correct me if I'm wrong Hmm. Somehow we have one and a half volts DC getting into the trim tabs and bonding system. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. Up up here. Go look at the water here for a minute. So I shut off the batteries. I'm going to go shut off the shore power and then I'm going to retake my readings and see if I still read voltage on those trim tabs and the bonding system. With shore power disconnected and the batteries turned off, I'm still getting a volt and a half DC through the bonding system. So 
I don't know if somebody else's boat is leaking or the shore power is leaking into the water. I don't know. So I think what I'm going to do is I think everything's okay for tonight. I'm going to have to come back tomorrow with our test set and it has a special probe, silver chloride probe that you put down in the water and then you can take readings on items on the boat and see what's going on. <laughs> So I'm just putting everything back the way I found it. Just because, like I said, I don't have the test set right now. All right, that's how everything was, so that's how I'm gonna leave it. Something here real quick. I just found the owner's manual. There was supposed to be a panel there where the short power comes in and there's supposed to be some I found some. Okay. The circuit interrupters are working. I don't see anything problems there. Okay, so since I'm here, I just noticed that this strike plate for the door is loose, so I'm just going to tighten it up real quick. Alright, good go. Well, let me show you the test set real quick. It's called a corrosion reference electrode and it's some kind of silver chloride probe that you put in the water next to the boat. And then you take readings and uh, it has to be the boat readings should be within a certain value on the multimeter. So I'll show you this as we go through it. Um, we're just trying to check and see if there's actual electrolysis on the boat or if it's next to the boat in the water or on the dock or what. So what we have here, this is a reference probe. It's a, a silver chloride. It's The probe is actually inside that metal tube. And what we do is we put this down in the water close to the metal fittings, uh, running gear, whatever you want to call it, that's in under the boat. And then we take, let's put this over here, wrap this up around here just to hold it in place. Put the probe in the water right here. It's a silver chloride probe and it can measure the resistance in this system. So then what we do is we have this probe is hooked up to the negative right here on our multimeter. I have this set for volts DC. And then what we do is we take the red probe and we ground it to the engine block right there. And you can see we've got 9.59. All right, now I'm gonna try something else really quick too. There's part of the bonding system right down here. See this green wire, that's part of the bonding system. And I'm gonna to touch this thing to that, and we get 961. We go to our book, and we look at this chart right here. We go hull type. We have fiberglass hull with inboard engines. There's your Volvo inboard motor right there. And our range should be 550 to 1100. So we are within that range. So that means that uh, here, a reading within the recommended range indicates the vessel's underwater metal in electrical contact with the digital multimeter is protected against corrosion. So we're looking good. So I did multiple tests. I um, turned off the charger inverter and tested and got the same good numbers in that range. Uh, he had m replaced a, a fuse on there, so I just wanted to make sure that I removed that from the equation. Also tested all the bilge pumps. I read the um, all the bilge pumps test good with no signs of uh, anything out of that value. I tested it with the shore power cords disconnected. I tested them with the shore power cords connected and shore power on. I tested both sides of the boat and yeah, I think we're good. So I'm gonna wait till CJ the diver comes and changes out all the zincs. Then I'll come back and do a quick reading one more time just to make sure we're in, in that 
value. Of note is uh, the client just told me that the sailboat right here, he just recently rewired and put new plugins on his shore power cords just before this all started occurring. So I'm going to let the facilities manager know that that boat right there may be the problem with this one with the zinc's cooking. Up. So we just finished up, which was the electrolysis boat. We had problems with the zincs where he said they were foaming. They really weren't. It just was, they were getting ate up. Um, I tested it with, with our test set and measured the potential and resistance and everything on the boat checked good. We had a diver come, change out all the zincs, put new zincs on, and I went back, tested it one more time, and I'm sure that the boat's good, everything checks good within limits, and I suspect that there's a sailboat across the way that is leaking electrical charge into the water that's eating up the guy's zinc. So I think the plan is to move the, I think the marina is gonna move the boat to a different slip. So we shall see. So that sailboat right there used to belong to General Patton, the guy from World War II. Well, we're done with that one for now.